What is a schematic diagram? And how can we diagnose and repair laptops using schematic diagrams? Coming up, I'm to Phone Theater Training Institute. If you want to venture into laptop board repairs, one of the basic skills you should master, aside learning how to solder, is learning how to read schematics. To an untrained person, schematic diagrams can look complicated and intimidating, but it's not that difficult to understand. So, what is a schematic diagram? A schematic diagram is a graphical representation of a circuit. It shows how all the components on the motherboard are connected to each other and a whole lot more. This is a very useful tool for technicians trying to do board repairs. A big part of learning to read schematics is learning the symbols. But for the purpose of this video, we are going to learn just a few important ones. Let's begin with the resistor. The purpose of the resistor is to limit the flow of current in the circuit. Resistance is measured in ohms and represented by this symbol in the schematic. Its position on motherboard starts with the letter R, for example, R110. A capacitor is a component that stores electrical energy. It works like a battery but it can only store energy for a very short period of time after losing power. This is a symbol for a polarized capacitor, meaning it has a positive and negative terminals. This is for a non-polarized capacitor. It has no polarity. Capacitors are measured in microfarads and is represented by the letter C on motherboards. A diode is a device that allows current to flow in one direction but blocks it from flowing in the opposite direction, just like a one-way valve. Each symbol is an arrow showing the direction of current flow. It has two terminals, anode, which is a positive, and cathode, which is a negative. It is represented by the letter D on motherboards. The next on the list is the MOSFET. It's a type of transistor and it works as a digital switch. It has three terminals, namely gate, source, and drain. There are two types of MOSFETs, namely N-channel and P-channel, but more on that later. It is represented by the letter Q on motherboards. The next component is inductor. Its purpose is to oppose certain changes in current. It is also referred to us as a coil because that's what it is. It is represented by the letter L on motherboards. Integrated circuits or ICs are a combination of different components in one single chip. It is represented by a rectangle or square with lines representing the pin functions. On motherboards, ICs are denoted with the letter U. Last but definitely not the least is ground. A ground on a motherboard is a return path for current. It is a point of reference for measuring voltages on the board. These are the symbols for ground. Let's look at other aspects of a schematic diagram. These lines represent the wiring tracks or traces on the board. Two lines crossing each other does not mean they are connected unless there's a dot between them. In the second part of this series, we are going to use the knowledge we just acquired to fix a very common laptop fault, missing 19 volts on the board.